So greetings. It's April the 9th in our 15-foot dome and Dana is not here to shoot this episode. So I wanted to start by talking about the catch crops we sowed the seeds in the last episode and unfortunately they didn't get properly watered at the correct time so they got quite delayed in coming up. They are starting to come up but those should have been a lot bigger. But this episode is about some of the challenges as well as our successes. This is a Swiss chard looking really good and we've got some carrots coming along and here this kohlrabi is not really hearting up as it should. A kohlrabi is a vegetable that has a swollen stem and that's what you eat but this one decided it didn't want to swell its stem so it's just putting out some uh, flowers and those are delicious to eat so we harvest those and it can you see how it produces little flowers from the axles of the leaves you can keep on eating those until you decide to take them out and the leaves are also very delicious so nothing gets wasted but we found a actual larva of a ladybug those once they uh, they, they will change into ladybugs and if you look on the, the window here that's the shell of a larva which metamorphosed into a ladybug. So we've got quite an established population in here and they're doing a good job of keeping on top of the aphids. Uh, so what we've got here is some, some broccoli coming along, very delicious to eat. And this broccoli has got some magnificent flowers. And you see there's a bee there. It's actually a hoverfly, but we've had a lot of bees. And we like to leave some flowers in the spring for the bees to enjoy the nectar and the pollen. It's a balance between when they get too woody, they take in a lot of nutrients from the soil. So we are going to take them out and replace them. And back here, we've got some mustard greens, and that's absolutely ready to be taken out and if we look further down at the bottom of the mustard green again we've got some aphid infestation uh, that's not looking that great so we uh, need to take that out and again we talked about crowding there's a little too much crowding going on welcome to growing spaces i'm kyle and this is a normal scene in the growing dome uh, basically it's just a transition period where uh, we need to pull out the old and then start some new. And it's, a, and it's an exciting time uh, to be at this stage. Uh, there's a lot of pollinators, so there is a benefit to having some of your plants bolting and going to seed. We're gonna do some carrots today, then we're gonna do some radishes on the front. And then I think the, we're, we have two different types of uh, bush beans that we're gonna plant, uh, some yellow bush beans and some green bush beans. And we also have some uh, kale that's going to seed. And one thing that I like to do is just break off the uh, top that's going to seed, and that kind of prevents and prolongs it. So then we can make this kale last a little longer just by going around and just pulling off the top. If you want to save your own seed, I would recommend just letting it go, let it bolt, brings in the pollinators. They'll go ahead and do their work, and you'll get some fresh seeds for next time you want to plant some kale. So because it's been so warm, uh, it's about time to plant the warm season crops. We're going to go ahead and plant these uh, glacier tomatoes. And we're going to do a couple right here in the front. They're going to get the real nice uh, sun exposure. And um, they'll kind of help shade the carrots and improve the germination rate in this area. And just get a little bit of shade going. And they're tall enough to where they are definitely ready to get out of this pot. Um, we can just pull one of these out and you can see they're on the verge of being root bound. They're not quite there yet, but they're definitely ready for some transplanting. Hello everyone, my name is Lucy and I am a new employee here at Growing Spaces. As Kyle was talking about earlier, we've done some things here in the 15 foot growing dome. We've taken out the mustard and we've planted some tomatoes. We put some straw down and we also planted a bunch of carrots uh, in rows right here. Um, the reason why we have the straw down is because it's Friday, um, the weekend's approaching, is nobody's going to be here to water and make sure that the soil's wet enough for the 
um, seeds to germinate. So we just put the straw down, water the straw, that way it helps keep the moisture in. These here on the trellis are getting pretty old. Um, the, the leaves are starting to wilt and get crispy. Um, they're just basically at the end of their life cycle and we're gonna go ahead and pull them out and plant some beans. So here's the aftermath after going through and thinning all the crops that were either infested by aphids or overcrowding the other plant. There's where we planted the tomatoes and the carrots. Here's where we planted the beans and radishes. There's some yellow beans over here where the peas were. 